Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our special two-part programme about the Great Western Greenway. Last week we started off in the town of Westport and made our way to Newport and finished off in the Nathan Mountains. Now we continue our journey along the Greenway to meet owner and operator of Navin's New Field Inn, John Navin. We took over the business in um, 1971. Uh, previous to that it was owned by the um, Gibbons family for two, three generations. and. Um, I took over the business from my parents um, in 2002. Where we were situated in rural Ireland, we had to look at other means of, you know, generating income. So uh, we went into accommodation and food. That was our two, two new areas, and um, that's basically what we're continuing with to this day. The um, Greenway has been a huge support to us here and here and there. And we're actually mid midpoint on the Greenway um, from Westport Tackle. And the Greenway was opened in 2009, and that was basically in the height of the recession. So it was very welcome uh, to have come along at that time, was because it meant it brought um, additional people into the area, uh, particularly during the summer months. This area is fairly up and coming from the point of view is you have your Greenway, you have the Wild Atlantic Way, you have also the local loop box in the which at the back of our uh, premises here. We have loop boxes stretched from uh, Mulrani to Newport. So basically, you could be on up there in the mountain all day, and and you wouldn't be you would you'd have plenty of, of walking to do without going over your tracks again. The loop box are also connected with the greenway, so you can basically pick out pick out and choose uh, what distance that you'd like to walk. If you want to do 4K, 8K or 12K, you know, that's that's up to yourself, like, really. We, we got together with a local landowner and we put in a track uh, from the premises here um, onto the Greenway. Um, I think we're, we're probably, the distance from the Greenway to here is about six, 600 um, metres, so, uh, it's not that far, particularly when you're on a bicycle. After taking in the views of the Greenway behind the inn, it was time to move on again. The next stop is the beautiful village of Mulrani, where I'm going to meet the general manager of the Mulrani Park Hotel, Dermot Madigan. Dermot, how has the Greenway benefited the hotel here? The hotel has been operating for well over 100 years and the redeveloped uh, railway line has given not only the hotel but I think the whole area, the community and the whole way along the Greenway a whole new lease of life. Um, and it's just uh, added another attraction for people to come and do when they come to this part of Mayo. Um, on a beautiful day like today, there's nothing like getting on your bike or going for a walk along the Greenway. And do you find that many of the guests staying in the hotel here, do they like to participate on the Greenway? Yeah, absolutely. I, like, when I started here about nine years ago, uh, you'd never see a bike um, on any backs of the cars or outside the apartments. Um, and now every single apartment and almost well over 56% of the uh, cars come with bikes on them. So they come with the, with the intention of cycling. Uh, walking and using the Greenway when they come and stay with us. Um, uh, would that be an important part of your business now? Oh, hugely. Um, one of our major um, market segments would be families and uh, having um, more for them to do when they come and stay with us. Um, the Greenway added that extra layer. Um, so now they come and they see Greenway as a little bit of a challenge for families and it's, um, it just gives another reason for people to come and stay with us and visit the area. 
Uh, another aspect to the Green Mayor over the last year, I know you're very involved in this as well, has been the Gourmet events throughout the year on, along the Greenway. After the Greenway opened, um, the Great Western Greenway, we formed a, a little collaboration of uh, food producers and venues along the Greenway uh, called the Gourmet Greenway. Um, and that started out with six members, um, and now that's grown to 20 members. And we have uh, we developed a guide that people can just travel along the Greenway, either walk, cycle, or even drive um, alongside it and uh, visit like the butcher, the the uh, cheesemaker, uh, Parry Cannon's Crow Patrick's Seafoods, or Jerry Hassett's um, Smokehouse, um, and get a real taste for mayo when they come to the area. Um, and we developed uh, just two years ago an events guide. Um, so it gives it life throughout the the, uh, the year. So anything from, from March to October, there's a series of events in various um, places along the way, in Newport, Westport, and here ourselves. Um, and accumulates in a showcase dinner here in the hotel. For people coming here now want to stay at the hotel, what, what are the facilities here? And how many do you cater for? Um, well, we, we can. We have uh, 40 bedrooms in the hotel. Um, we have uh, 20 CB apartments just to our uh, right-hand side here with a view of the bay. Um, and then we have a leisure centre. Uh, we have a wonderful waterfront bar here, uh, an excellent award-winning restaurant, um, and a superb team waiting for everyone to, to, to come. We're going to welcome over 70 weddings this year to the hotel, which is, um, which is, is a very, very good number we've had. And, um, and the business looks very strong for the next, um, the next year and on beyond. Any future developments for the uh, Greenway that you'd like to see? Uh, for, for European visitors coming to us, they, they'd like to see longer cycleways. So to try and link um, the cycleways with Ackill and um, further on in, in Westport um, and perhaps into Castle Bar from here would, uh, would hopefully um, add uh, more reason for people to come and stay with us because um, European visitors like to have a long cycle and 42 kilometres is long for some people, but others, they do before breakfast. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Another link between the Mulroney Park Hotel and the Greenway is the old station house building, situated just behind the hotel. The building was recently refurbished and is now buzzing with life again after decades of being left idle. Through a collaboration between the Falch Ireland and Mayo County Council and ourselves, uh, the railway house, which would have been uh, derelict for well over 60 years, um, got uh, funding to be redeveloped and now um, it sits back to its, uh, its, its former glory, I think it's, uh, it's a credit to everyone involved in, in, um, in bringing it back to life um, and now it's an activity centre and it really adds another um, level of uh, excellence to the Greenway as a, as a, as a centre for people to use for facilities, toilets, showers um, and also the outdoor activities like bike hire and windsurfing and, uh, and everything else that, that happens in the area. One business making use of the building is Clue Bay Bike Hire, so I've decided to pay them a visit and chat to one of the co-founders, Travis Zeary. We started off in Westport um, back in 2010. We opened actually the week before the Greenway opened. Uh, we started off with 60 bikes in total. That was adults and kids and the whole works. And we've, we've done our best to grow as sustainably as possible. So. In the last eight years, we've opened another four shops. Uh, we've gone from 60 bikes to 525 some odd, you know. Um, and like I said, we have a, a shop in each town along the way. So you can cycle as much or as little as you want of the trail, and we're always there to help you out. We, we started to service the, the Greenway, so uh, we're very much invested in the success of the Greenway. Um, year on year, it's, 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 it's growing every year. Um, but like I mentioned before, it's growing sustainably. So it's not it's not growing to a point where it's going to be uh, the Camino by any chance. But we don't want it that packed. Uh, so you know, I'd say in the first couple of years, um, you'd have two, three hundred thousand doing the Greenway, and I'd say we're about three hundred fifty thousand now. The Greenway is going to get bigger, uh, in my opinion. It's uh, this year. It's going to be going on to Ackle Island. I have every. Um, I think uh, in the next couple of years, it's going to go out the opposite direction on the other side of Clue Bay, out to Lewisburg, and into Connemara. So, I could potentially see us opening another maybe four or five shops uh, within the next five years. Um, but again, we're just we're enjoying what we do. Um, we bring people out, we have a good time, we're not trying to get ahead of ourselves, uh, we're just doing what we do, we try to do it well. The Greenway to Seaway is an initiative we came up with in 2011. Um, basically it incorporates all the best of what this area has to offer. 
So you can take your bike, cycle the beautiful Great Western Greenway, finish up on Echo Island and hop on a private fishing charter that will pick you up, bring you all the way back to Westport, um, looking for dolphins and seals and catching a few mackerel. Um, you can pop into one of the local restaurants back in the Key. Um, we're actually working with uh, the helm at the moment. We're using their boat. So once you arrive back into Westport Key, um, you pop in, you might have caught a few mackerel, like I said, along the way. Uh, pop into the Helm restaurant and, and Vinny and Shane will cook the fish up for you um, and sit down and relax and enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, obviously you talk to a lot of your customers uh, when they've cycled the Greenway. What's the general reaction from people that have experienced it for the first time? The beauty of what we do is there's such an age demographic uh, to, to, to our customers. So initially when we opened the business, we thought it was going to be young families and, and you know, uh, you know, mums and dads getting to spend a bit of quality time with their kids. But we're getting a lot more of, um, you know, the older demographic is, is sort of filling our, our off season. And the younger demographic is, is, is our busy season. But what, uh, I suppose, back to your question, uh, pure joy. It's, it's pure joy. They're out, they're enjoying nature. Uh, they have the views, they have the scenery, they have everything they want. You know, it's just safe cycling and, and family spending time together. Okay, it's time for us to take a quick break, but join us again in part two, where we will be going from the Greenway to the Seaway. Walter Ash, you're very welcome back to part two of our Greenway special here on iMayo TV. Having just found out a bit more about the cycling options, I decided to see what other forms of transport are available along the Greenway, which is why I've come here to Ballycroher Sailing Club, where I'm going to have a chat with Seamus Butler. You've launched a new initiative here, the waterways to the Greenway. It sounds exciting. Well, it is, but it's going back to a very old concept. Like, there was always a connection between here and the railway line. There was a ferry service run by Peggy Lynchahan, Peggy McIntyre's her maiden name in Tunrigi, and uh, people from Ballycroy, Eris in general, if they wanted to cross over to get the train, they'd raise a flag on this side and Peggy would row over and collect them. So the concept of Waterway to Greenway is, it's a very old one. We're just reintroducing something that officially ceased around 1934 when the train stopped running and bus transport was better. Prior to that, uh, if someone from Eris wanted to travel to get the train, uh, instead of going through Mulrani, they uh, just raised a flag on the Claggan side of Claggan Ferry. Peggy Lynchahan, Lee McIntyre uh, would row across and collect them, bring them to the train or um, to the main road where they could get a lift or a bus into Ackill Sound. And it's great that we can reconnect now with this waterway to Greenway. So how does it work then? It has evolved with our boating and sailing club. Mm and our natural pickup point was the fish road, which was the old collection point for, for the railway line. And uh, as our membership has grown and more people are coming, it's a pickup there. Sometimes the kids bring their bikes okay. and we bring them here. This waterway to Greenway evolved slowly over some time. That uh, it was our natural collection point for kids from Ackett and Tunrigi. We picked them up at this fish road siding of the Greenway and uh, bring them here and then other times kids from here would want to go on the Greenway and we just dropped them over there. So we thought, why not take the next step and open it up to the public in general. So if you're cycling Mulrani to Ackill, Ackill to Mulrani, you now have the option of taking the Claggan Ferry, coming to Ballycroy, you're on to very safe, quiet county roads and you can cycle to the National Park, take in the Solar Walk here or maybe some of our um, astronomy lessons, which are all part of an evolving process here and uh, we can drop back later in the evening. And it's a short journey isn't it? It's about two minutes you know uh, even today now there's some challenging conditions on the south side but uh, once you get into the north side it's very calm so it's a very it's regarded as smooth water. And is it growing more and more popular now? There seems to be a great demand for it and a lot of the cycle higher people are interested in promoting it. So when they arrive down here they say they want to take the boat trip from, from the nearest point of the Greenway. How did they get in touch with you? Uh, they can contact the local bike hire firms or um, can look on our Facebook page or call me myself on 
I own number. So that's the future now? We hope so. It's Perfect. something that's going to, it's, it's a natural evolvement and mm. it also brings us back to the history of the place. Just like those using the Tunrigi Ferry, we too are going to cross the water now to Ackill and the last phase of our journey along the Greenway. Well, I've arrived at the village of Kiel on Ackill Island now to visit the Ackill experience and have a chat with CEO Terence Stepper. The Ackill experience is a, a new visitor attraction uh, that opened here in April 2016. Since we opened, we have put 40,000 people through our doors. The visitor centre has uh, many, many storyboards, uh, all relevant to Akil. We have an audio-visual with the shark fishing industry, the film on the first train and the last train coming to Akil. We also have an exhibition of first prints of um, paintings by a famous artist, Robert Henroy. And you get a lot of visitors that uh, do the Greenway to come and want to enjoy the Ackill experience as, we, a, as part of the Greenway. We would get quite a lot of visitors that come on the Greenway and would come on down to here, either with one of the bike hire companies or they would cycle down to here. Last year we had people cycle all the way from Lewisburg into Westport and Westport down to here and left here uh, around six o'clock in the evening and back up to Lewisburg. If people want more information about the Ackle experience, what do they need to do? Go on our, our website or on our Facebook page or contact Ackle Tourism. One of the major attractions for the Ackle experience is the aquarium, which is looked after by expert Tom Honeyman. The idea was to showcase uh, just exactly what's in the sea around because although people live on an island and of course Ireland itself is an island uh, they're not always aware of what's actually in the sea that may well be on their doorstep. And the fishermen have been a great supporter of? The fishermen have been excellent, yeah. At the end of the day uh, we would find it difficult to do it without the fishermen and of course if they find anything that they think that we might be interested in or anything that uh, we particularly need or want then yeah, usually they'll come up trumps and they're there to give us that bit of assistance. You have a couple of exotic fish here in the tanks as well. What do visitors, uh, what attracts them mostly? What type of fish do they like to see? Well, children of course, they're all into their cartoons and such like TV and whatever. And of course, they're all trying to find Nemo <laughs> and they're trying to find Dory. So the smaller ones and some of the bigger ones as well, some of the the adults are uh, quite keen on finding Nemo and Dory, so that would be one of the tanks that they would uh, head for, first of all. Yeah. Just give uh, viewers an idea of the type of fish that's here. Well, at the moment we would have a native fish, um, somewhere around about maybe 35, 40 species uh, at any time in the bay, just Keel Bay or around the island there would be at least 60 different types of uh, fish. So we have little sharks, uh, cat sharks, and uh, conger eels. We also have the, the more commercial fish as well, such as cod, pollock, coal fish. Um, there's uh, little gobies, rock pool stuff. There's all sorts of hermit crabs. We have uh, various types of crustaceans, and of course, including our famous colored lobsters which have uh, proved to be quite a big attraction, of course. Uh, standard colour of a lobster would be dark blue, almost black. But of course, these guys are so unique in their coloration that, uh, yeah, they've, they've attracted a huge interest from the public. Yeah. What's your own favourite? My own favourite? Um, it's hard to say because every fish 
Every creature that lives in the sea has its own story and they all have their own unique abilities and capabilities and uh, I'm very drawn to the, the blue lobster though, I must admit. Also making use of the water here in Nakil are those who like to engage in water sports such as kite surfing. One business that provides that service, amongst other things, is Pure Magic and its owner Francois Colusi. Pure Magic Akel is, so that's, that's where we are here, that's our little piece of heaven. Uh, we've been here since uh, 2010 and it has started as a kite surfing centre and then little by little has developed into uh, a lodge and a restaurant and, and a family little peaceful uh, place where you can just come and relax and disconnect from uh, the rest of the world and the, 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 the crazy technology. So our water sports are like kite surfing, stand up paddle boarding are a very fast growing uh, sports and Mayo and Ackle Island is one of the best places in the world. For water sports it's just paradise because you've got the lake uh, for beginners or for advanced, you've got the sea, you've got every side there's something different and you've got the landscape. So kite surfing, stand up paddle boarding, very fast growing sports and, and yeah, Ackle is just a, a perfect destination for it. The whole idea of like Pure Magic is to bring people into a, a different experience, but it's also based on what we have here in on Ackle Island. And uh, we believe that there is a bit for everyone. So if you're an adrenaline junkie, then you're gonna do like this really hardcore sport and fast and high and like, like the kite surfing. Then you want to go a bit uh, for mellow uh, excursions, you go and do an excursion in standard paddle boarding, then you do the greenway. Uh, then so you have like romantic or you have family, then you can do a high, you can do the horse riding, you can do the surfing. There are so many things. And then obviously we love the music, we love the good food and we just love good times. The Greenway has been a huge success and uh, has been bringing for the last few years now like so many people uh, into Ackle Island or Mayo in general. It's one of the most successful projects uh, beside the Wide Atlantic Way actually. And it's great to see year after year like um, this initiative getting more and more popular and spreading around like uh, around Mayo and growing and growing and inspiring. Huge success. And uh, you've done the going way a number of times yourself. Yes, I'm, I'm normally I'm much more comfortable on the water, but I do enjoy my little uh, bicycle ride. And I've done it like a few times with the family, with the young one and the old one. And uh, now it's, it's great. It's between uh, Ackle Islands and Newport, Mulrani, you can stop. You go through all the different landscapes and you see lots of many beautiful things there. So that brings us to the end of the programme and indeed our trip along the Greenway. If you are yet to experience Mayo in this way, then all I can say is get on your bike. There's no smoke, there's no rails, just the wild daffodils by the side of the old Ackle Well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Thank you for watching. So until the next time, Slonga Fall. By the side.